If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified next time we put out a new vehicle. Our last stop in Chandler, Arizona is at the town's beginning, the San Marcos Hotel built in 1912. When the first veterinary surgeon in the territory of Arizona, Dr. A.J. Chandler, bought 18,000 acres of land and set about building a town named after himself. Destined to be the Pasadena of the Salt River Valley was the nationally advertised campaign. Hundreds of speculators arrived on the newly completed Arizona Eastern Railroad. Behind the counter. Oh, the keys? The keys, that's the original, the original key holders. Yeah, that's cool. On that day in 1912, the town consisted of three wooden shacks and a billboard marking the site of the soon to be built elegant San Marcos Hotel. Yeah, look at this whole area here, with the fountain. This is the front courtyard. The crown jewel of the downtown is the hotel. It's attracted presidents, movie stars to come out and enjoy golf, horseback riding, and swimming. This is the pool area right here. Wow, it's gorgeous. Who knew? Hey, you two, how about a game of ball? How about using one of these oranges from John Forty Nine Wild Orange Street? Hey, good. Gotcha. Right in the middle of downtown Chandler. It's this beautiful hotel. What kind of game this is? Do you know what this is? No, I have no idea what it is. Huh. Is it like shuffleboard on the table? I have no idea. What's that game? Let us know if you know what this is. Beautiful set. Yeah, really pretty. Gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous. Or freezing. <laughs> Love the floors. Can we do these floors in Rosie? We can, won't be cheap. <laughs> so who are these guys? John Corti and John. Dr. Alexander J. Chandler. So... Dr. Chandler was a veterinarian that came out here from the Midwest. So Chandler's named after him. And uh, it was a lot of farmland, so they needed a veterinarian. And who's this Corti guy? Mr. Dapper Dan. Huh. Let me see. John Cordy. He bought ownership shares of the San Marcos. In the 60s, he acquired the hotel outright. Hmm. 
It was known as John Cordy's San Marcos, and they would put themselves in advertisements for the hotel. They called him a they called him a dapper man. He mm. was stylish, dapper, was known for being a big personality in the life of the party. And this is a time when people would come out here to spend the winter. That's why the grounds have so many activities, because there was nothing else around here but farmland. There's a Southern California architect who Dr. Chandler hired to design the hotel. I know later Frank Lloyd Wright tried to sell a remodel design, but it didn't ever, they didn't use it. Instead, mm. Wright um, designed the Biltmore, Biltmore right. in Phoenix. So these are some designs that Frank Lloyd Wright did. Um, ended up in, ended up not doing those renovations, but he did do the um, Biltmore, and that's Frank Lloyd Wright right there. So at the beginning of forming Chandler, um, ostriches were brought in. Now you can see ostriches south of here, right? Yeah, down there at the Cacho Peak. You can pet an ostrich or eat an ostrich. Yeah, it's called, it's called Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch, I think is what it's called. But uh, celebrities and other wealthy people would come out to Arizona to spend the winter. So here at the San Marcos was the first grass golf course in Arizona. Most people associate golf with Arizona, but before the San Marcos, did they play on the dirt? Uh, yeah, they played out in the dirt. They had a stick and a, um, a little rock, and they used to hit that around. <laughs> so. And I, gopher holes. And gopher holes. Yeah. So playing golf in the desert meant literally playing golf in the desert. Right. So. But this is the first grass one in Arizona. It was here in, at San Marcos Hotel. And of course, in January on Super Bowl Sunday is the huge. Uh, Phoenix Open. Phoenix Open turn waste management. Phoenix Open. So oh, it's a trashy play? tournament. <laughs> Yeah, it's a trashy tournament. That's why Tiger Woods won't play here. He won't come here because well, it's cause trashy. He, well, because he gets heckled. People heckle. People there. get drunk and people don't follow normal rules for observing golf. Right. They're not <laughs> posh enough. <laughs> this is the San Marcos Golf, golf Course, established 1913. Wow. And somewhere the original bungalows are down here still, too. Don't know where. Think they care if we just walk across the golf course? I don't know. Ask uh, Bill Murray. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. <laughs> Hey Romer, so it's Jamie back at you again here. So what we're doing today is we're building new balances for the new blinds that we're going to put in Rosie that's going to replace the old uh, material covered balances and the old shades. I didn't like those shades. So we're doing mini blinds and I'm building these uh, valances that are going to go across the top uh, that the blinds are going to mount to. So I'm just going to go through the steps of building a new uh, new balance and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, ignore the ugly curtains. Hopefully when we go to the RV show in Quartzite we can come up with a decision on what we're going to cover the front windows with when we're camping. But this is just looking so good. Isn't it looking great? Jamie's in there building the valances and we've got the blinds. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I did is uh, the one blind is 32 inches long. So I added an inch on either side to accommodate for me for my mounting screws to mount this underneath the cabinets uh, where my blinds are gonna go. So. This is a one by four. Um, it's going to be the front face of the um, balance. So what I need to do is, it's going to be as long as this, but I also need sides. So it's going to be a, the front piece going to be a little bit longer to accommodate the side pieces. And I'm going to 45 those. So I'm going to have basically an L shape here and here, and then I'm going to uh, nail them to this, and that will create my balance and then I'm going to do some decorative molding on the face.
so that's uh, one balance complete. You can see I uh, 45 all the edges. I got to sand it and fill with filler, but uh, we're going to stain it, and then I'm going to mount my uh, blinds up in here. This is where the blinds will mount, and then I'm going to put that up underneath my cabinet, and that'll look like that. So that'll be all nice and stained, and she'll look really good. So I got to build one more of these. Um, a little bit longer but basically the same process so I'm gonna go ahead and get that completed and then we'll follow up with you later so what I've done here is uh, we chose um, a gel stain Minwax gel stain uh, the color is called coffee so I um, filled all the holes and I sanded everything and then this is my first coat of the gel stain um, we wanted to do kind of a dark color in there being that everything else is kind of a light gray and uh, kind of like an off-white color. So this is uh, the first coat. Um, I'm going to see how that looks after it dries. If that's the way we want it, then what we'll do is we'll do a clear coat on top of it. And then I'll mount the blinds inside there. And then uh, it's going to mount underneath the cabinets in the motorhome. So we're going to do dark wood balances. Um, and then the panel comes off the refrigerator here to you can spray that in the garage so I just got to do the trim on there and then today I'm gonna work on this side of Rosie and we've made a decision on the couch we're gonna get from rec pro double recliners which will be really nice we opted not to get the electrical so we just got the manual so one less thing to break. Kind of going more and more for manual operating things because we don't need to drain more electricity when we're camping and also less things to break. Well, it's Jamie and Dexter back at you here again. And what we're doing today is we're working on the RV rental some more. What I got going now is I'm doing a clear coat on my valances. So we like the color. I put on two coats already. Uh, what I'm using is uh, some leftover clear coat. Uh, it's a protective top coat from the uh, cabinet transformation Rust-Oleum. Uh, when you put it on, it's kind of a milky color. Um, I've had people where they said, oh, it's milky, it's not gonna work. It dries clear. Um, I'm gonna put three coats on. Once I have that done, then I can go ahead and mount these in Rosie. Uh, we're also uh, painting cabinet faces drawers and doors so that's kind of what we got going now but I just want to let you guys know uh, we're going to be heading out to the big RV event we're gonna meet up with some other youtubers out there and we're also gonna see what's going on in the RV world as far as new things new RVs new gadgets things of that nature uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we'll kick out a new video once we've gone to courtside let you know what we found what we've seen what YouTubers we hooked up with. And being that this is the first time we're in Quartzsite, we'll just kind of give you an idea of what we thought and the things that we found and all that kind of stuff. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you'll be notified next time we put out a new video. And as always, we really appreciate you watching our videos.